Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and I am doing another book review and today I am reviewing Rose Matter by Stephen King. It is the story of a woman named Rose Daniels who is married to a cop and is physically abused by her husband and one day she decides to get the hell out and moves to another city and starts living another life and he comes looking for her and he's crazy. So that's the best synopsis I could give without giving details of the story and not reading what's on the back of the book. This was my first Stephen King read and I have always wondered why or what it is about Stephen King novels that they always get turned into movies, be it TV movies or big screen movies. It's always baffled me. Well not necessarily baffled me but I've always had a question about it because I hadn't read a Stephen King novel, so I didn't, I just didn't get it. I get it. Oh my goodness, this was so good. I was given this by one of my roommates, I believe, in college, so I've had this book for years. I have just not read it because knowing that it was a horror novel and how Stephen King's movies can be, I was just a little skittish about reading it. Oh my goodness, it was worth the wait. This was just, it was great. I had not seen, or I didn't do a search on YouTube for any reviews of it, but this, I had never heard of this book by Stephen King before. I, in the years that I've owned it, I have said that I have it, and no one has had a spark of memory as far as hearing about it or having read it. And so I was kind of concerned or thinking that maybe this just wasn't as good as some of his other novels. This is what a horror novel is. It is chilling. It is gripping. It is frightening. There are things that happen in it that you're like, whoa, Wait a minute, the imagery that is used, the descriptiveness of it, even in the most gory things, it, everything is just, holy crap. This was a, I mean, this was just a good book. I really, I'm trying to come up with some other things to say to express how much I enjoyed this novel. Um, if you've read a Stephen King novel, you know how good of a writer he is. For me, this was a very pleasurable reading experience because I had not experienced his writing before, and so I didn't know what to expect. I knew what, how some of his movies are, but again, novels adapted to screenplays, things change in the writing process in the adaption process or adaptation process, however that goes. So I really had no way of knowing ahead of time what to expect. If you haven't read a Stephen King novel, I would suggest that you do. I would, of course, suggest reading this. This will not be my last Stephen King novel. In fact, I borrowed Dolores Claiborne from the library uh, because my aunt love the movie like when I was a kid I was like why are we watching this again and they love the movies and so I wanted to read the book because I've seen the movie like 15 times so but I haven't read it yet because I wanted to read this first since this is the one I actually owned one of the things that is used as the perspectives in the story are given, the two main perspectives are Rose and her husband, Norman. I, after reading this, would be okay if I didn't see another book with pieces of or chapters written in italics for a long time because all of <laughs> Norman's activities and thoughts were written in italics and Norman is the bad guy. He's her husband who's looking for her and 
his mind and the things that he does are so twisted and just having it written in italics made it even creepier than if you were just reading it in regular print or in regular font. Um, it didn't creep me out to the point where I couldn't read it before bed. In fact, there were some nights where I was sitting up reading it and I wanted, I didn't want to stop reading it. Uh, there's one point where I had to make, when it first started getting creepy, my imagination of what could possibly happen kind of got the better of me, so I had to put it down. But once I got beyond that, I was like, okay, the creepiness is exciting me. So I had to make myself put it down so I could go to bed because I have to work during the week. This is the actual first novel that I have read in a long time where there is a meek, timid, female lead character that didn't annoy me. Nothing about Rose annoyed me from start to finish. All of the development that took place, I enjoyed every single part of the journey. That, that is difficult to do, to have some, to have a lead character who has some things that are just, that you are so set apart from, I guess, is the way, is the way to say it, that just does, it just didn't annoy me at all. Norman mystified me, and not necessarily mystified in a good way. He, he, he was just crazy. There are so many personalities that Rose comes in contact with as she's making her journey and the way each one impacts her. There are some that have, that she meets briefly that have a long lasting impact. And then there are some who she develops relationships with and they are all proposed and presented very well without being overbearing. And you get them not just from Rose's perspective, but some of them you also get from Norman's perspective as he's looking for her throughout the course of the story. The things if there are who the thing the mentality and mindset of Norman. I am a little bit concerned about <laughs> the mindset of Stephen King that you can think these things up and put them together so well and write them over and over again in different ways and still be sane. The way that Norman is described you can, or maybe it's just the way that I read. I could hear it when she's talking. When she's talking about him coming after her, and when he's upset, and how he sounds, and how he breathes, and all of that coming to, I can, I could hear it clear as day. It was creepy, and it was great, and I absolutely enjoyed it. So. That's going to be the end of my very gushing review. If you have read a Stephen King novel that you thoroughly enjoyed, put it in the description box below. This man has so many novels. I would like a starting point as I continue to grow my Stephen King library. I have, uh, I did buy the bind up of the Under the Dome series, but I don't think I'll be getting to that immediately. So, yeah, if you have suggestions for Stephen King books that you have read and enjoyed, please put them in the description box below. Give me somewhere to go, and I hope you all have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.